So, I don't really want to start something new today. I feel like I just want to work on something old. So I went through my pile of things that are old. Old as in done, or only half done, or something like that. Um, I went through this pile and I decided, I really want to work on this one, actually, but not right now, because that's going to take a few hours and I'm really tired at the moment. Um, yeah, I thought I would uh, start working on some of these and just finishing them or putting in a little layer. It's really not about finishing them. This one is a little bonbon. It's a marzipan bonbon from Nideka. I started this in 2015, December 2015, and this goo you see, that is um, masking fluid, and it doesn't seem to be bothering the paper. I, I took some off and it looked okay. It's a little on the greenish side under there, but that's perfectly fine for me. I just never got around to it, but I think I might. Today, if I do anything at all, I think I wanted to do this one. Okay, so first we want to wet our palette. I'm not looking to do really big washes. And I probably won't use any of these colors at all. But, um, and I don't have a photo. So this is, what is this? This is a strudel, I think. I did this in Germany while we were sitting in a beautiful restaurant in Braunschweig. Um, we were, here we go. Yeah, in 2016, just before we left. Um, we were having cake and I had apple strudel. Okay, so raisin, that's actually the wrong, I think these are cranberries, raisins and cranberries. So I'm just dabbing in Um, a little bit of color here and some little lines. I'm gonna give that a feeling. Hi, Jelly Bean. Are you gonna jump on my lap? Give a feeling of, um, oh, you are gonna jump on my lap. <laughs> give it the look of, of dimension so that there's some kind of shape going on. It's not too flat. Because you know how raisins look. There's a big mess. Now, like I said, this is from memory because I obviously don't have um, access to my apple strudel anymore. So I'm gonna make some blue and some brown, which will give me a beautiful grayish color. So do you guys ever take some time to revisit old paintings or do you decide that once it's done, it's done and you don't go back? Or um, if you don't like something, do you just, do you toss it? Tell me in the comments below. I'd love to know. I think it's very interesting. Yeah, that's better. Just to give it more uh, contrast, you know? Maybe in here. And like I said, I'm not looking to do too much on this. We'll see what a few little details and lines will do. So when I was working on it um, at dinner, or I guess at coffee time, because that's what it was. It was um, in the afternoon. We were having coffee and cake. Um, yeah, we were done. We were done. Everybody was finished. We all got up and left. So I didn't really have the option of saying, well, hold on, I'm just gonna sit here for another, you know, 20 minutes or an extra hour or something and I want to finish painting. And once I got up, that was kind of the end of that. That's a really good mix. What is this? This is... Transparent brown, yes. It's transparent brown and 
this one I think was Paris blue I think in order to make this nice dark color I think also I want to add some lines to the crest. <coughs> See if I can <coughs> make it a little more interesting. So way over here. Um I don't remember what this was. I think it was kind of like a braid. Like the, either the bumps in the crest were put in with a fork or something like that, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. This is Germany we're talking about. Um, they would have put it in with um, like a crest decorator, some kind of design that rolls and makes these beautiful marks. So I want to be in control, but I also kind of want the brush to just move on its own in order to get more um, fluid and non-controlling. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Um, kind of marks. So I want the little wiggles. And then we've got this big space in here, which is just kind of like dead air. And there wasn't anything white in this. It was just apples and cranberries and raisins. There we go. When I drew this line, it was still wet, so it's bled, bled out on the edges. So this is better. And I can also come back and fill in a bit underneath there. And we've come to another shape and now I'm doing the negative painting by painting around this little guy. This little thing here. Probably figure out what it is. Now it looks like a jelly bean. And not my rabbit. Right. And then, yeah, let's throw some texture in here. Because there's something there, and whatever it is, it's going to be covered in shadow and and all kinds of good stuff. And here too, just painting on a few more of those shadows. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it feels right. So back here, I should probably do the same thing.
Mr. Quail. Can you go find your friend somewhere else? Hmm? Do you have any idea? Yes, I know. Shoo shoo. Do you know how loud you are? Well. Off you go. He's standing just on the other side of my door. So excited. So that was the part of the cut, right? The, I don't remember if it was a square part or if we cut it off if it came this way or, anyway. Maybe I cut it off with my knife or something. Um, but yeah, this is a cut, so we want to kind of emphasize that this is a straight line. Okay, now you're officially too close. Out you go. Go on. And add some lighter brown. Come on, you. And over here. And some dry brushing to give some kind of effect going on there. All right, what I'm looking to do is maybe just add a smidge. color here and this one is totally lacking so we're going to I'm putting in the color and then coming back with a wet brush let's just smooth it out to blend it out a little bit without having too many hard lines I think I'm not sure what this is but it's <laughs> very granulated, so I'm going to toss that in there for texture. And let's go back to that red. Where do we have that red from? And add a smidge of that back here. Blend that in a little bit. Just going around and around and around the house. So at this point, at this point, using something like pencil crown would be very helpful. Um, but I almost never use pencil crown on my paintings. So I will resist the urge, but I think I might have to give it a moment to dry.
Okay, the only thing I don't want is the straight line to be too straight. So let's come back with something brown and maybe put in a little bit of texture. And this is going to be super fine, just little dots. There we go. to bring that color in. I'm going to add it down here. I think we want a little more back in here. Just let me know my battery's gonna die in a minute. Which is a good indication that I'm probably pretty done. Just a few little dots, which I will work in just a little bit. And voila, I think it's good. Um, yeah, tell me what you guys think. If you like these types of videos, if you're interested in seeing me work on more old things, I think it's kind of interesting to take an old piece and work it until it's right, uh, let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. So I have an idea that you guys are enjoying these because it's very helpful. And um, I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial. And if you're in the middle of binge watching my stuff, um, have fun. Don't forget to get some popcorn. Toodaloo!